<clears throat> All right, let's see if we can add an advanced texture now. Parse. Ah, parse from snippet is here now. So now I can add this guy in. Uh, and I think that's it, right? It parsed this. It did it in a a wait a wait. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else except later to add some events. But let's see if it can appear. So it's gonna be async. And await. I think that's it. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, receive. Open menu, but when I click on this, I don't really see anything. Mm -hmm. Foreground, true. So as a name, foreground is true. This scene. I deal with so I don't really know why it's not working. Let me restart server. <clears throat> so menu manager is triggered from this button over here. So we have this mount point, which is app that has a welcome that's what you're saying oh join the space and then each of these are hidden by flags by boolean flags so we've got did join the space show the microphone show the menu overlay so when you first join the space you this is where that welcome card and if you notice down here there is no menu button there because we want you to interact with this first once you go here it checks to see if you have set some microphone settings if you haven't then it'll show you this and after you confirm this then it shows you this menu over here so it's three different components here uh, two of these are modals and the last one is that menu overlay so in this component it contains two more one is the toggle microphone and the other one is the toggle main menu so when you click on this toggle main menu, this is a function, it will toggle whether that's true or false, but it will send a message called open menu down to whoever's listening to it. So in our, in our menu, this is listening for that message and it calls this thing. So we know this is called because we get man uh, menu manager received and we can console log here uh, create menu so this is to be, uh, recompiled and we jump over here do this let's also open up the console click on this so we got the create menu but 
Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. It should be just against the screen. Maybe I don't need this. Because previously, when we pasted some other code that was working, we create GUI, advanced dynamic texture, create full screen. Uh, this is These are the defaults, so I don't think those are strictly necessary. Then we created a button. Um, is there any other action we need to take after parsing it? Go back here. I'm going to I'm going to hide all of this stuff that they're doing in their sample. It's not letting me comment. Can I comment this? Comment that. Oh, it's class is a different function. Can you have this load your snippet? If it little like so. I'm trying. Maybe it's a problem with my snippet, right? Yeah. It's not doing anything. I think there's a... Maybe I made this invalid JavaScript now. <clears throat> Context restore. Gradient vector call. Let's, let's go back here. Scroll through selector. Loading GUI from snippet ser server. Camera facing GUI. Let's just search that. Avalon JS. Um, GUI parse from snippet. Not what I want. Uh, 
Okay. Maybe I didn't save it right. <clears throat> Load from snippet server. Cancel. Save to snippet server. Alright. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Did it return a four oh four? Oh wait, um, okay, what if I don't do this? What? Why is it still here? <laughs> I don't think it's executing this. There must be something going on. Um, okay, we can try to make this by hand. Okay, I always thought we could use that, but it's, uh, it's still beta, they said, so... Okay, so you create a texture and then you can add events for movement up down when you're in there there's some horizon alignment okay position and size uh, okay so this is about controls you can set controls position and size with the following properties padding top Tracking positions. All controls can be moved to track position of a mesh. My advanced use smallest ideal horizontal adaptive scaling. What is this? Oh, interesting. It scales the size according to the screen. Um, I guess we can look around for more playground examples. GUI text box, GUI line. Is it just the background color? Wait, what is this though? It's a string. So is it like this? Okay, full screen, took over everything. So I guess it's clear by default that it doesn't have this. So you have to set controls into it. So we can create the first button. 
Um, and it can say about and the width height that seems fine but placement of this it just popped it into the middle so do this it just put it in the middle and I kind of want it off to the side and I want a rectangle around it so is there like a rectangle containers rectangle example GUI rectangle we add a rectangle okay grab that right, GUI rectangle with height make it like um, I don't know 100 pixel and where does this go okay now can I add the button to the rectangle so rectangle one add control button one I added the button to it's a tree so I think I can do that do this do this there and let's see on click it should dispose okay it still works I want to move all of this to the left I can make this even taller is uh, button one like top zero that that didn't do anything I mean that's what this is supposed to be I think this is rectangle and then if you put a button in here you can drag this button into the rectangle like so Where's a rectangle? I can't even see it here. Oh, so weird. Ah. Oh, there's okay. So it's not like it's it's not like HTML where it kind of like floats to the top. You have to specify all these positions directly. Maybe. I'm not sure. But it does have some alignment. See, there's center, and then there's top. Oh, that's the that's the rectangle. So maybe the button about and the, there's an about button, and I can do this. Oh, okay, so this has some vertical alignment. Okay, so this did nothing, but button one align. Okay. Vertical alignment equal what? What's the options here? Vertical alignment. Vertical alignment. So number? No, this just said top, center. Okay, so maybe it's a enum. GUI vertical. Like top. GUI control, okay. GUI control dot vertical alignment top. 
There we go. Okay. Then I want this horizontal. So rectangle. <clears throat> rectangle one horizontal alignment equal buoy control horizontal alignment left. Okay, so we're kind of getting there. I pop this open. It does this. And can I do like some like highlighting? Button one highlight highlight color equal uh can we do this? No? Highlighting control, how about, what else? Background. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> highlight, how about hover, hover cursor, oh it became a finger, did you do that already? No. Okay, how did you do that? Is pointer blocker true? Hover becomes pointer. Yes. Copy. Button one. Button one. So I kind of wanted to add another section that, okay, if I click here, I want the about this space to show. I want to show I want to show this. The name. Okay. Um, my awesome space. This is a castle from Castlevania, something like that. Open menu. Let's make another function for open the context. So when you click on that, you're going to open the content. So we'll create async open content and we'll create another advanced texture I deal with on this one maybe 3000 and we'll create another rectangle here this one same width can be okay I don't know why they express one in pixels and what is this a fraction so maybe five horizontal alignment left okay we'll open content so when you click on this um, instead of doing this, we'll do this dot open content. Okay. 
Okay, I don't see anything. <clears throat> this open content. Uh, okay, let's give it a different name. Content. True there. Height. Let's give it a different height just so we can kind of see it. Uh, maybe wider width. I don't see anything. Oh, this open content not a function. This What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, let's use a fat arrow. Left equal zero point two. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. I want it to be on the right side of that menu, so it's probably too long here. Make this maybe the same height for now. you to squish over a little bit so how does this thing do it so if you had a if you had something here a rectangle and you wanted to bring in another rectangle oh okay so they have y and then they have X. Okay. So just modify the X. Is that not a thing? What is this? Okay, so top, right, okay, this width, height, top, right, left, bottom, okay, these are the margins, and X and Y. Transform center X. Uh, zero point two. Nope, didn't do it. What is that thing? I'm going to close this. Tracking positions. 
this is, I think, if you want to attach it to a mesh, which right now it's just connected to the the whole screen, so I don't think it's that. Should be something X though. Link offset X. We'll give it a try. Oh, center, center X. Zero two. The read only property. What? Five five five, and then let's try saving this to a file, and then GUI texture one. Open that, and open, and look for five five five. It's just called left. I didn't see it though. Um, oh, okay. It's just called left. Ah. Although it was given in, it was given in pixels, right? Positive. Past center. Negative. So maybe. It, the value is too small. It's like almost zero. Okay, let's give a bigger value. <clears throat> ah, okay. Two hundred. Five hundred. Can it be uh what happens if it's uh this? I guess it wants pixels. Um the height. That's interesting that they're both two hundred pixels, but one of them like squeezed up, I guess. Open content. Okay, so we want to display something about this thing here. So when you click on open content, this one should be maybe we pass in about and then that one will go and fetch the about so on the svelte side we have something that was able to make graphql calls uh, here's an example of it. We would pull in this thing called Urkel, and it had some operations. That, but now if we're not doing Svelte and we just want to make a GraphQL call, I'm not sure if we would use this. But you could write a query, and then it would it would grab it for you. 
Maybe we can still use it. We're just using operation store. We can try this. See if this works outside of outside of Svelte. Um, it's eight o'clock. Do you anybody need to go? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go in a minute. Okay. Um, so we'll go to the menu manager. We can import this, and oh yeah, it has it has trouble instantiating when it's not inside a Svelte thing. I think so inside the constructor. If we say that query is okay, so you you create an operation store. So grab this. And paste this. So we'll just say that this is A for now. So this says, give me a space with an ID and all the entities. And actually, what we want is the ID. We don't even need the name. We, we want the name and the description. That's what we want. So this is a space, and then we can query the space, I think is what we do. Right. And then you can subscribe to this. So then you could say, uh, this give you back some kind of, yeah, I'm not sure because it gave you, okay, space, subscribe, and then this would be the value. And let's just console log. Value. Let's see what this gives us. So that's just right in the constructor. Uh, yeah, we're getting an error here. Function called outside of component initialization. Yeah, so it's it's kind of spelt specific. So we may need to find a different library for doing this. In which case, maybe we can just use a um, yeah fetch. So I'll find that some other time. Anyway, it's coming along. Trying to build a GUI menu. It's 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 tougher <laughs> trying to figure out that API. But stop. earlier you said that menu thing wasn't HTML, but it is right. Um, like the Babylon menu thing that you've been working on. The one I've been working on tonight. Yeah, like the menu. Yeah, it's not HTML. What is it then? It's uh, Babylon's own own DSL. Like I this mean, stuff? this stuff. Yeah, I mean, you like you, but what it generates is. Like the menu itself, it, it's a, it's some sort of wait, it's I mean it's some sort of HTML, right? It has to be. No, it's gen, it gen, it makes a texture. It's an advanced texture. Oh really? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like these. Oh shit. That's the only way you can see it in VR. You, because all of it's rendered inside a canvas, so. If you have mm -hmm. HTML, it's sitting on top of the canvas. So when you go into VR, you mm -hmm. can only see the canvas because the canvas is put up right against your eyes, and any HTML is actually above the canvas, and then you don't you don't get to see that. So to see anything in VR, it has to be 3D geometry or a texture. Interesting. So, so this is a oh, okay, okay. It's a language that kind of mimics, but it's that's why. It would be much easier if they if they model HTML directly because we know HTML and CSS already. So I can kind of like just put stuff together, but it's not it's not a direct mapping. So that's why they have this thing, which like a lot of these seem like they're uh, HTML, 
but like you wouldn't need this if, if it was just straight HTML. It's, it's like they have their own, their own DOM structure here. Yeah, but these callbacks are not JavaScript. Well, they might be JavaScript callbacks. I mean, it's executed with JavaScript, but it's um, it's it's listening on the texture, which they're, <laughs> help, they're helping you bind to the uh, the engine. So whatever angle that texture is, it can receive button clicks, even though you're clicking on a you're actually clicking on that. 2D canvas, it maps it to the 3D coordinate inside the engine so that you can have. I see. Yeah. So you can have, for example, like stuff like this. So this is like a 2D thing. So when you click on this, this isn't moving, but eventually we're going to map it onto a texture uh, in the space, um, which will be probably more like. Uh, So this is a full screen. This is a this is an example of a texture based one. So see how it's in the space. Uh uh huh. That's what we want. That's that's how I attached it to your arm, the the menu. So I want to be able to pull in a menu inside where it has uh, like cone, sphere, box, whatever. So you're in the space. Otherwise, right now you're in VR and you have to pop out to see something like this, and you have to click something out here. Then pop in in order to do something, but I want to allow you to be able to like make a wall by click, 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 OK, and then it'll draw a wall. Will come up like this. Mm -hmm, I, want be, I want to be able to do that. So basically, I went through all the menus and stuff, and I decided that I'm making the wrong things in the 2D menu. In the in the 2D menu, I should do things that have to be done in 2D, like image uploading, file uploading. Mm -hmm and searching like when you're if you're typing then you don't want to be typing in vr in vr you just want to click stuff but if you have to type and search and stuff then that makes sense for a 2d and it primarily with phoenix live view because it's so easy to do it there and so i i think i may remove some of this because although it's it's cool for some light functionality and i actually got pretty far in terms of and maybe i'll still keep this for the for the entity list, but I actually don't think most people want to see the entities. I, I just kind of geeked out because, um, like, Babylon JS has it. Like, if you click this, you see an entity list. So I think this is too hard for for people to use. I think they just want to be in here and click and stuff. Um, but the other thing that's cool is that it has a, a graphical endpoint back again. And I added mutations to this. So if you look at the docs, you can, for example, uh, get a list of spaces. So you can do query spaces. And um, so what do you want? I want ID, name, description. I want entities. From entities, I want uh, the type of entity you are. And I want your components. And then from the components, I want the type and the data. And so if you do this, bam, you get all this data back. You get all <coughs> information about spaces. <clears throat> so mm. this is a space that's, let's say, called ABC. So you can hone in on one space. You could say space, and the slug is ABC. Tell me about this. <coughs> you have a space against this. And then you can add mutations. So here, you can create entities straight from here. So in this one, you could say um, mutation, mutation, and then you could say create entity and give us the slug of the space. So it could be ABC. And then the type you want to create is like a box. And then it's going to give you back an entity and just have the ID. So if you look over here and look, oh, not localhost, but in the space ABC. Uh, there's no box here, for example. So you can go here, create a box, and you come back here. There's a box, which I think is pretty cool. So this, I think, is 
pretty cool for third party people to add stuff because if you added animations and sounds and in, into this library then anybody can connect to a space and then create a game on top of it right because you're just being here and then that gives a safe way for other servers to manipulate stuff in here move things around play sounds around you and all you have to do is give them an api to do that but for our own for our own menus it's pretty it's pretty tedious to do that for forms at least like if you have to create uh, these forms and stuff it's pretty tedious to digest that and create a good ui over it so for ui stuff the phoenix live view is now, now i really appreciate it <laughs> when i'm trying this it's like man i have to do this by hand now but i was like phoenix was doing this for free on the other side right, right. yeah but neither of those options kind of help out when you're in the space so uh, now I need to figure out how to make GraphQL calls from within here. Or, uh, yeah, if I want to fetch data, I think GraphQL is, is good for that. For mutating, I could use either GraphQL or just a Phoenix message that we'll, we can parse and do something with it. So yeah, any questions, comments up to this point? Pretty cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Which part? You yeah. popped in all that, and you create a little box mutation. Oh, this thing? Yeah, but also the... Yeah, just everything. Trying to figure out the menu. That thing that I thought was HTML, but wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Cool, I'm going to stop recording.